Kia ora and welcome to this video on question 5 of the 2015 Skull Calc exam. Uh, this question is a bit of a doozy, it's up there with uh, question 4 in the 2016 exam for difficulty, purely because of the algebra involved, it's really intense. Um, we've got this graph that um, has a parabola and a few normals drawn to it. Um, and the first question asks us to just find the equation of one of those normals. Second question asks us to find the equation of the normal with the minimum y coordinate, and the third question involves finding an area between the normal and the parabola, and then finding the smallest area uh, that is possible. So we've got a mixture of integration and differentiation here, um, and just a disclaimer, it's going to be a tough one. off fairly reasonable. Um, we've got this coordinate here on the right hand um, arm of the parabola and they're saying call this point x0, y0, some uh, particular point on the parabola and it can move. Show that the equation of the normal to the parabola at this point is, is equal to y equals mx plus c, where m is negative 1 over 2kx0 and c is the other stuff. Okay, so it's actually quite simple. We just need to find the gradient. Okay, because a normal, a normal at the point x0, y0 has the equation y minus y0 equals m x minus x0. Uh, oh, sorry, that's the tangent, my bad. It's a tangent, so the gradient of the normal will be the negative reciprocal, so y minus y naught equals negative 1 over m x minus x naught, that's the normal. Uh, and we, first up, we've got a pretty simple parabola, just y equals kx squared, so we can diff it. Derivative is uh, 2kx, and then at x naught y naught, the slope is equal to 2kx0. So our normal becomes y minus y0 equals negative 1 over the gradient 2kx0 times x minus x0. And we also know, uh, we know that y0 is um, the y value at x0 and it's on the parabola. So y0 is just equal to k times x0 squared. So we've got y equals negative 1 over 2k x0 times x, expanding the brackets, um, plus 1 over 2k. And then we can move the y0 to the other side, plus k x0 squared. And that is the equation of the normal that we wanted. Okay, so not a bad start to be honest, just find the equation of the normal using the slope of the tangent. Um, but this is where it, it goes insane. So the second question asks us to find the equation of the normal with the minimum y coordinate. And it's talking about the y coordinate on the left branch. So we can see that that y coordinate gets lower and lower and lower until a point where it's at its lowest. That's the minimum y coordinate. Uh, and then it goes back up. So it's actually a differentiation problem. We first up need to find that y value and find out how it depends on x0. x0 is the independent variable in this question. So if we move x0 um, closer to the origin, the y value changes on the left-hand branch, and then we differentiate that once we've got that expression. Okay, let's just have a look at um, GeoGebra, because I've made a an animated version of what they're just showing us. I've just picked k is equal to 0.5 for my scale factor. Who would have thought that such a simple parabola, y equals kx squared, is going to cause so much trouble for us? Um, and if I move this point a, which has the x value of x0, um, if I keep moving and moving and moving, see how the y value gets lower and lower and lower and then it starts going up again? 
Okay, so the lowest it got was when the red line here matched the dashed green line. And that there is the uh, extreme normal. Okay, and it turns out it has the equation um, down there, bottom left in green. Y equals negative 1 over root 2x plus 1 over 0.5, where k was 0.5. So it's got a quite a simple equation. We just uh, need to get to that. Um, the Well, the question actually gave us the answer to this one as well. So let's just show that again. Okay. So start off by, again, calling this point x0, y0. Ignore any of the numbers on the scale. And we know the equation of this normal. We've already got it. Just use the answer from the previous question. Okay, that's the equation of our normal. Now we need to find out where that normal meets the other side of the parabola. So we need to solve it equal to y equals kx naught squared. No, 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 not kx naught squared, kx squared. That's the equation of the parabola. So solve that simultaneously gives us a quadratic equation. It's a simultaneous equation. kx squared equals minus 1 over 2kx naught times x plus 1 over 2k plus kx naught squared. If we put that into standard format, kx squared plus 1 over 2kx naught times x, that's the linear term, and then minus both of the other things equals 0. Now we could solve this for x, right? We could go x equals and use the quadratic formula. But we actually already know one of the x values to this. We know that the normal cuts the parabola in two places. One of the solutions is x0. Okay, and we can verify that. If you substitute x0 in for all of the x's, um, the stuff will cancel. Let's have a look at this. If we make this x0 and this x0, kx0 squared minus kx0 squared and 1 over 2k minus 1 over 2k. So x0 is clearly a solution to that problem. The other solution we want can be found by using the product of the roots. So for a quadratic, the product of the roots is equal to c over a. C in this case is the constant at the end, and A is equal to K. So that's the uh, product of the two roots of the quadratic. So therefore, the root that we want, which is X, let's call it X of B. Okay, that coordinate B, let's call this X of B. That X value, I'm saying X, B, Y, B. Um, that x value is the product of the roots divided by the first root that we already know. So we've got to divide this also by x naught. Okay, and that simplifies. Um, get negative 1 over 2k squared x naught, and we get negative... Um, x0. Okay, so that's xb in terms of x0. Remember, k is just a constant. It's the um, scale factor of the parabola. So now we've got that. That's our x value. We want to optimize the y value. We want to minimize it. Okay, so to find the y value, we could use the normal equation or we could use the parabola, but the parabola is easier. The y value of b is just k times by this dude squared. Okay, the fact that both of those terms in there are minuses, uh, when we square them, they actually have no effect. So we could write this as k times 1 over 2k squared x0 plus x0 squared, and it's exactly the same thing. And we want to differentiate this. Uh, with respect to x0, which is the only variable there. So differentiate with respect to x0, the y value. 
the thing we're trying to minimise. The K will sit there, the 2 comes down in the front, I'm using the chain rule. I get all of this stuff to the power of 1, multiplied by the derivative of the inner function, which is minus 1 over 2K squared x naught squared plus 1, and that equals 0. Now bear in mind that x naught is a positive number, okay? It's a it's a number that's bigger than zero, it's in the first quadrant. And so this first factor, this first factor here is never equal to zero. It's a positive plus a positive. Which means that it must be this dude here that generates the solution. We want this equal to zero. So if we solve that equal to zero, that will give us our minimum value of yb. Well it'll give us a minimum or a maximum, but we assume it's the minimum. 1 equals 1 over 2k squared x naught squared. Um, and we're solving this for x naught. So we've got x naught squared equals 1 over 2k squared. Or x naught is equal to plus or minus root 1 over 2k squared. Now we want the negative value. No, we don't. We want the positive x naught's positive, so we take the positive root, positive only, and we can square root that k underneath, so we've got 1 over square root 2 um, k, k is outside the square root. So that's our x naught, and then we're asked to prove, I'll show that the equation of the normal line with the minimum y coordinate is, is equal to this dude here. So now we just Substitute x naught, the thing we've just found, into the normal equation, the general normal equation. So the normal um, y equals negative 1 over 2k. I'm using this normal equation here, but I'm replacing x naught um, with 1 over root 2 times k. Okay, so we've got 1 over root 2 k times x, and then we've got 1 over 2 k, we've got plus k lots of 1 over root 2 k all squared. So this simplifies, because the k there, can cancel that k there, and 2 divided by root 2 is root 2, so we've got minus 1 over root 2x and then the last term, the very last term is root 2 and the denominator squared so it's a half the k's cancel well sorry there's a k squared in the denominator and a k so we end up getting this dude here is equal to 1 over 2k which adds with that one there so we've got 1 over 2k plus 1 over 2k is 2 over 2k, which is 1 over k. So that there is the equation of the normal, and it is the answer that we want, because minus root 2 over 2 is the same as minus 1 over root 2. Okay, so that's proven. Oh, I forgot to put a smiley face on the answer up above. Anyways, that's not too bad, but it was... Yeah, definitely a step up. Definitely this is the top scholar question um, in the 2015 paper. Especially when given the other hard question was the uh, question for conics problem, but it had an easier option to do the linear programming one. Okay, part C. What does it say? Uh, we want to find the equation of the normal, so it's not even a show that this time that produces the smallest area between itself and the parabola and find this area. So, go back to, um, let's go back to GeoGebra here, and this time focus on the, the blue line. So the area, as we, as we decrease x naught, if we move a closer to the origin, the area is going down and down and down, right? It's 8.8, 8.7, 8.6, .8 and it keeps getting smaller until that position there where it's blue and then it gets bigger again so we're now looking for the normal that generates the smallest area 
So we need an expression for that area first. Okay, area is the integral between x of b and x of a. So left to right of the equation of the normal. Again, we're back to the general equation of the normal. So I'm going to copy that down again. This, this dude's getting a bit of a workout here. Let's go. You're going with me this time. Again. Okay, that's the top equation. I need to get rid of the y equals. Okay, when you're finding the area between a curve, so we, we are finding this area, it's the integral of the top function minus the bottom function. And we just do it as one integral. So if I make this a little bit smaller, that's the top function minus the bottom function, which is kx squared. Be really careful not to put an x naught there with respect to x. Now there's heaps of terms here, so we should um, we should tidy it up um, first up. Um, we've got a constant, so if we just the one over two k and the kx naught squared, they're constants. So I'm going to treat that as one whole term. And then the other thing to realise is the x value of b. We've already found that, and the x value of a is just x naught value of b was, um, where was it, this dude up here, okay that's the lower value, minus 1 over 2k squared x naught, minus 1 over 2k squared x naught, minus x naught, it's the bottom limit, and the top limit is x naught. That'd probably get you a mark there, because we've done a bit of work to get those limits, and to realise it's top function minus bottom function as well. Just check that we've got that limit right. Yep, okay. So, now we need to anti-diff, and it's actually just a quadratic, so it anti-diffs to a cubic. But it's going to be really, really tedious stuff. So I'm actually going to work probably across a double spread page here. Square brackets. Now I'm integrating the first term. Minus 1 over 2k x naught times x squared over 2. And the next term, 1 over 2k plus k x naught squared times x. And then minus k x cubed over 3 all between x naught and minus 1 over 2k squared x naught minus x naught. I'm trying my best not to make a mistake here, but I know it's going to happen. Okay, so the first first one is to substitute in the x naught into the x values. So when we do that, uh, one of the x noughts in the first term cancels with the bottom one, so we get minus 1 over 4k and then we get an x naught at the top okay and then the next term we get um, x naught over 2k I'm subbing in x naught into the x value and then I'm expanding it at the same time we get plus k lots of x naught cubed and then the last term, minus k x naught cubed over 3. Okay, and now we have to sub in the bottom limit. Now this is the tedious part. Because the bottom limit is made up of a combination of things. So we've got minus, remember sub subtract the bottom limit evaluated in the integral. So minus 1 over... 2k x naught. Actually, it's 4k x naught because there's a two extra two there, and it's x squared. So remember that, like I said before, because it's a negative thing, 
when we square it we just get a positive so we can write it as 1 over 2k squared x naught plus x naught all squared and then we've got plus 1 over 2k plus k x naught squared all times by a negative 1 over 2k squared x naught minus x naught did I say I was going to go across the page yep let's go you can do this in your in your exam if you want to as well and then the last term we've got minus k lots of x cubed over 3 so minus k over 3 and then it's a negative thing cubed so the negative um, will get cubed and make it that a plus and we've got 1 over 2k squared x naught plus x naught all cubed. Alrighty, and that's closed brackets because it's been all been minused. Okay, do we have any like terms here? We've got x minus a quarter, those first two terms, minus a quarter plus a half, so we've got a, um, a quarter x naught over 4k, that's the first two terms done, and then the, we've got k minus k over 3, so we've got 1 minus a third is 2 thirds, so 2k x naught cubed over 3. Okay, then we've got plus... 1 over 4k x naught times uh, the expansion of that quadratic. 1 over 4k to the 4 x naught squared plus x naught squared plus 2 lots of um, the middle terms times together, which is the x naughts will cancel and we'll get 1 over k squared. I'm up to here now, I've done that. Then the next term is minus all of this stuff. So minus um, expand those brackets. The first term is negative 1 over 4k cubed x naught. And minus x naught over 2k and minus x naught so making oh, I feel like I'm going to make a mistake so minus x and x naughts cancel k one of the k's cancel over 2k and then the last term minus k x naught cubed Okay, and then the last term, if it didn't, if it wasn't hard enough already, we've got to cube this thing. Plus k over 3 times the first thing cubed. Plus 3 lots of the first thing squared. Times the second thing. <coughs> so 1 over... 4k to the 4 uh, x0 squared denominator but there'll be an x0 on the top so x0 and then 3 lots of the first thing times the second thing squared so 3x0 2k squared and then the last thing cubed closed brackets okay <laughs> this is just to find the expression for the area in terms of x naught then we have to find the minimum area okay I wonder if anyone actually got this right in the exam 
in the mark schedule they skip details they just say oh this equals this and you go yeah okay how did you get there x naught over 4k i'm gonna identify some like terms soon hopefully plus 1 over 16 k of the 5 x naught cubed plus x naught over 4k plus 1 over 4k cubed x naught and now up to here I've done all of that I'm up to here plus 1 over 4k cubed x naught plus x naught over 2k plus another x naught over 2k plus k x naught cubed plus 1 over 24 k to the 6 no not k to the 6 k to the 5 x naught cubed I think I've seen that term already before plus 1 over 4k cubed x naught plus 3, no, plus x naught over 2k plus k x naught cubed all over 3. Okay, some like terms now. Let's look for the x naught over 4k ones first. x naught over k. 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 So if I go through there, I've got a quarter plus another quarter plus a half plus a half plus a half. Two. 2x0 over k. Now what's the next term I can find? I've got an x kx0 cubed. A kx0 cubed there. And a kx0 cubed there. So I've got two thirds plus a one plus another third makes two. Two kx0 cubed. Okay, now I've got a I'm running out of highlighter colours. I've got a k to the five x naught cubed in the denominator. K to the five x naught cubed there. So that's one sixteenth plus one twenty fourth. Five over forty eight. K to the five x naught cubed and then I've got a k cubed x naught there, a k cubed x naught there, a k cubed x naught there and that's all the terms covered. So I've got a quarter plus another quarter plus another quarter, three quarters. Okay, so that there is the area in terms of k and x naught. And just checking the schedule to make sure I have actually got the right expression. Okay, I don't. Oh dear. Oh, good luck trying to find my mistake here. If you've already found it, well done. Because the mark schedule, like I said, just goes from the integral to the answer for the area. Hmm. Alrighty, the beauties of editing. I have found the error. Uh, there is a minus, and I think I said be careful about that minus. There is a plus there. So this dude needs to be a minus and then so do the last four terms hopefully that is the only error the 
joys of YouTube editing. I can just crop all that out. Right, so these coefficients are all going to change, but the terms themselves are not. So if I go and add up all the yellow ones, I've got a quarter plus a quarter plus a half plus a half minus a half. So that's one. Then the green ones, two thirds plus one minus a third is four thirds. And the blue ones are sixteenth minus the twenty fourth is one over forty eight. And then the pink ones a quarter plus a quarter minus a quarter is a quarter. Let's check the schedule again. Have I got it right this time round? You bet. Choice. Okay. So with this, this is our area expression. Um, we now need to find the minimum area. So we're going to diff this with respect to x naught. It's a dash is equal to one over k plus four k x naught squared. Um, the x0 cubed there and the denominator goes up to the top is x0 to the minus 3. The minus 3 comes down and knocks off the 4, or works with the 48 to make minus 1 over 16. That's minus 1 over 16 k to the 5 x0 um, to the 4. And then the x0 in the denominator of the last term, x0 to the minus 1. So it's going to be minus 1 over 4 k cubed x naught squared and we want to make this equal to zero okay and what you need to realize in that is um, there is a whole heap of common factors and we can factor it out um, or we can times everything through by 16k to the 5 x naught to the 4 so multiplying by um, 16k to the 5 x naught to the 4 gets rid of all the fractions which is a common theme in my videos so we're going to get 16k to the 4 x naught to the 4 in the first term we're going to get 64 k to the 6 x naught to the 6 minus um, 1 and minus 4k squared x naught squared equals 0. Now we have to solve this for x naught, which seems like impossible to do. This is a power of 6 equation in x naught, but we can actually factor it because the first two terms have a common factor. This is like um, how you factorized um, back in year 11 with the MCAT except it's just to the next level, I guess. Those first two terms have a common factor of 16, and also k to the 4, and x naught to the 4. 1 plus 4k squared x naught squared. And then the last two terms have a common factor of minus 1. 1 plus 4k squared x naught squared. And that... Is a common factor for both those terms so the outside stuff becomes one of the factors and the green stuff is the other factor and we want to make this equal to zero x naught remember is a positive thing the right hand side so is k and the, the right hand factor is always greater than zero so we're solving for the left bracket equal to zero and that gives us x naught equals 1 over 16k to the 4, the fourth root, which is 1 over 2k. So that's the x naught value that gives the minimum area. And then we do the same thing as we did in part b. We sub that back into the normal equation. Um, Gosh, where is that normal equation? It was 
this first bit here. That's the normal equation. So y equals negative 1 over 2k times 1 over 2k times x plus 1 over 2k plus k lots of x naught squared which is 1 over 2k all squared the 1 over 2k is cancel we get negative x so all that to get a slope of negative 1 and then the constant terms there we've got um, 1 over 2k plus 1 over 4k so 3 quarters 3 over 4k is the answer so that's the equation of the normal and then the area because the question I think I had the last step to it where was it find the area okay well we go back to the area expression which we had before we differentiated and we substitute x0 equals 1 over 2k into it so area is 1 over 2k all divided by k plus 4k over 3 times 1 over 2k cubed plus 1 over 48 k to the 5 1 over 2k cubed plus 1 over 4k cubed times 1 over 2k surely this simplifies Got 1 over 2k squared plus 4 over 24k squared plus 1 over 6 k squared it's 1 over 2 k squared or oh, they're all like terms that's a good good sign so we've got a half plus a sixth plus a sixth plus a half which equals four thirds 4 over 3 k squared which matches the answer I mean it's not a proof question but I'm definitely very happy smiley face Wow, we what an intense problem, and I'm actually quite proud I only made one mistake in that, and it was just a solitary minus. Um, we'll crop all of that out of the. Uh, <laughs> it took me about five minutes to find it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Catch you in the next video.